just opened up my DX300. I wanted to take a look at the um, S meter bulb. I'm going to measure the voltage here to see what sort of bulb I can replace it with. Again, it looks um, pretty clean inside, as you can see. But what did surprise me was that there's a ferrite rod, which uh, I assume is for medium wave. Um, although I have tried this uh, set on medium wave and it's certainly picking up from my antenna um, rather than that ferrite rod. I can tell by the, um, the signal strengths I'm getting various stations at. So whether that switches in and out somehow when the external antenna is in, I don't know. But I was quite surprised to see that in a communications receiver like this, but that's uh, definitely a ferrite rod with the windings on it for medium wave. Um, but um, that gives you an idea of the uh, the inside of the DX300 and the, uh, the circuitry it has. You can see the um, frequency counter is in that metal uh, enclosure there. I have the speaker and the pre-selector assembly there and um, as I say the um, rear of the S meter so uh, we'll take a look at that and see if we can uh, work out what, what we can replace that bulb with the ferrite rod works and sorry about the lighting I wasn't intending to uh, to do any um, shots of the rig while it was uh, on the desk here when I had it open but um, we've got it tuned now to Radio 4 and Long Way for 198 uh, kilohertz. Which I think you can support. just about make out there. Okay, so we've got a, we've peaked it up on the pre-selector already. We've got a, a strong signal there. That's picking up off the ferrite rod. Because um, if we go around to the back of the receiver, where I've uh, taken out of its case, you'll see uh, there's no antenna. No antenna plugged in there, and yet we have um, pretty good signal here. And uh, the pre-selector no just pick it up a little bit there. They have lied from the start and there we are, long wave reception uh, without an antenna. Yeah, didn't realise these had a... Uh, an internal ferrite rod.